<clears throat> Hello, this is Rosha Shai, the moderator of this channel, and this is F Society RSC Podcast, a Mr. Robot Show, and this is my re live reaction to the TV movie that is the series finale of Mr. Robot. It uh, doesn't have a name. Uh, it's just series finale part one and part two, just keeping it simple. <sighs> so I did finish that Washington Township plan is a MacGuffin, but I has, this is what I get for doing things last minute. Um, serious editing issues and it's rendering now and it, it won't be up to like way late and it won't really matter. Um, but <sighs> sorry for all the ladies and boys out there that are really hoping for a parallel existence or a time machine that the, the, the hydrogen collider that White Rose was right and we were in this different world. Um, no, sorry. Um, but it was interesting. I, I will give this 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 creation of this world a very weird, interesting. It just. But if you, um, all of us have been paying attention to Mr. Robot and reality, you you knew things were off and and, and things of that nature and. Wow. Uh, will the real Elliot please stand up? That's what was pretty much the summation of this series finale. And it focused he heavily on this Elliot that we've come to know in this entire series. And seeing him journey to the breakdown of the reality that he, that he exists or he created for himself and we actually never really truly saw the real Elliot really to some extent and th that's that's a bit sad because I would have liked to have seen the real Elliot to, to some purpose um it's it's been a a wonderful journey. I've enjoyed the fandom. It's one of the better fandoms I think out there. Um, great theories, great discussions, just picking things apart. I wonder what how things went out for the the ARG guys at the alternative reality for the Mr. Robot, which has been occurring each season. Um, with the series finale, usually is the last set of clues and things wrap up. How their journey's been going? I, I might check out that Reddit. Uh, subreddit and see how things going are going for them how they're feeling because I, I my understanding that this alternate reality game is associated with Mr. Robot just by watching the post and, and the the discussions there and the, some of the discord chat is a, is a pretty difficult one for for those who are really into it it's it's fairly challenging and very engaging so it's really well done uh, I don't want to get too spoilerly really with this live reaction because it's really the last episode and I, I kind of kind of have to sit with this episode a bit um, to do my full review but in general it was it's very emotional it was very sad it was just sad in a good way sad in a happy way like I thought there would be more death and destruction to be honest with you I thought Nobody was going to get out of this alive. And it's, in a sense, nobody really kind of did. I mean, in a way, Mr. Robot and the Elliot we know are no longer with us. So Darlene survived, Krista survived, Dom survived, Flipper did, QRT didn't. I do think it was a little easy that even though Elliot did stop the Washington Township machine from doing his thing, and it, but it still exploded, but somehow he was shielded. Uh, Elliot survived that, and he's being held a hero and minimal scratches. A little neat, a little neat, a little neat, a little neat for me. No FBI or police surrounding and holding him down in that room being held as a hero a little neat but it's the end of the series and we're just gonna go with it Darlene's there uh, this is the real world this is the reality uh, so yeah 
Um, but again, it was uh, very satisfying, a very satisfying ending to the series. And I really wish USA had allowed this to be been like no commercials because it's the one annoying thing about watching it live is the damn commercials. And yeah, so <clears throat> that's it, friends. There's there's no much more Mr. Robots. Um, I don't even think there's gonna be any, any offshoots like books or anything like that. I, I think this is it. We're done. Um, I'll talk about what I'm planning on doing with this channel and um, my complete review of this the series finale. Um, I will do the 407. I'll finally do that somehow, just to be a completionist, if you will. Uh, but I guess we'll talk a little bit more then, friends. But oh, this is the end. No, I just. Whew, they better get some goddamn awards this time around, okay? More than just Rami Malik. I mean, everybody. I mean, from cinematography, from music, you know, Mark Quayle, from uh, writing, set design, costuming, uh, extras. If there's, you know, they finally do the stud coordination, stud coordinator, I mean, just across the board. Supporting actor, supporting actress, uh, maybe lead actress up in there, uh, just, oh, boy, a lot of my shows are ending this, this year, uh, there's one more season of Lucifer, and that's done, The Good Place is ending, and that's done, Mr. Robot's done, um, Let's see, when am I still watching, I guess? Well, I'm watching some of my nerd stuff. Supergirl, uh, Legends, Batwoman. Yes, I'm watching Batwoman. Um, Stumptown. But um, now I guess I'm going to have to start reading more <laughs> or playing video games. My, my selection of television programs um, are diminishing. They're mostly like binge dropping like The Witcher, which I haven't watched yet, but I will. Or uh, one-offs like The the Watchmen, or um, I think The Watchmen is going to be a one-off, and I think that's good for it. Um, but yeah, but we'll talk about that. I, I'll, ta I'll tell you about what it is I'll, I'll be getting into, but yeah, this is a long journey. Um, but uh, this is Rose Jai. This is F your moderator for this channel. I'm closing it. Uh, this is F Society RC Podcast. And until next time, friends.